What is the chief complaint of this patient? जिन्हें पेन नीचे नहीं रख रहा है पेन नीचे नहीं आता क्यों दर्द होता है या मुड़ता नहीं है नहीं मतलब ये जो है ये जन्म होती है मेरी सब जब शिरोपाद जो यहाँ से जो हुई है यहाँ मेरे कहीं दर्द में सोच नहीं देता ये ये है पेन का ओके वी कम फॉर एग्जामिनेशन नाउ लेट अस टेक द हिस्ट्री नाउ इन सच ए पेशेंट � with an ulcer and inability to walk properly. It is important to take a greater history of how the disease started. It was intermittent claudication or it was rest pain or it was just inability to walk. So what is intermittent claudication? After some when the patient starts walking, after a few steps, he or she will have pain. Now, for that, he will take rest and then again he or she can walk further. So, this is known as intermittent claudication. Then, there is a condition which is known as rest pain, where even during rest, the patient has pain. And where, where, what are the sites of pain in uh, this intermittent claudication? It is. It can be in the calf muscle, it can be in the thigh muscle, it can be in the gluteal muscles. So, whichever muscles are in action, they will be responsible for that pain. So, whenever the patient starts walking, you have to see and he, he will tell you that here the pain or at the back of the thigh or in the gluteal region. So, now once this type of pain is there, then we think that it is an arterial pain. There are two types of pain. One is a venous pain in which also there is a swelling. Sometimes can be ulceration also. But that is, there will be bluish hue in the whole limb. So, that, like that it is not there in this particular patient. So, the other thing is the history of a smoking. Which is present in this. कितने साल तक में एसबीडी पी आपने? मैं ना पे दस साल की उम्र से. दस साल पी. दस साल की उम्र से. दस साल की उम्र से. So maybe around forty years he has been smoking. So smoking is a very very important history in such patients where there is an arterial disease. He used to take alcohol also. Uh, but sometimes it is said that alcohol has a beneficial effect. But a combination of cigarette smoking and alcohol is not good and that may result in further deterioration of the vascular condition. Now once that is the history, then uh, you have to start examining the patient. Uh, starting from, first of all, you have to look at the face, general examination and you can understand that he is an elderly patient and uh, he is uh, from a poor socio-economic background and you have to see the vitals. So pulse, uh, you can palpate the pulse of the upper lip because pulse will always be examined in all the four limbs because that will tell us exactly whether it is a vascular disease or not. So you can just see the uh, rhythm of the pulse, you can see the uh, uh, whether compare the two limbs upper limbs and the two lower limbs and see if there is any disturbance in the pulse or it is a feeble pulse because when you want to examine the lower limb this upper pulse will pulse will help you in understanding whether there is a change in the arterial caliber so if the here the radial pulse is normal they appear to be normal, right? So both the upper limbs, the radial pulses are normal. Then you have to see the pallor, ictus. There is uh, no, uh, there is 
नो पैलर नीचे देखिए नो एक्ट्रेस एंड देन यू हैव टू डू द एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द नेक एंड यू हैव टू डू द एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द एक्जिला टू फाइंड आउट एनी एक्सिलोपैथी एंड देन यू हैव टू सी फॉर क्लबिंग एंड कॉलिनिकिया देर इज नो क्लबिंग देर इज नो कॉलिनिकिया एंड देर इज नो पालमर एरेदमा एंड द लिम्स अपियर टू बी ओके इन द अपर लिम बट वेन यू कम टू द लोअर लिम यू कैन सी लेट जाइए The only thing which is to be seen in the lower limb is pedal edema and sacral edema in the general examination. So I am pressing here. There is no pedal edema on the uh, normal side. On the affected side, also not significant pedal edema is there, but there is some edema. There is some pitting. So left side appears to be normal as there is no pedal edema, but on the right side there is a pedal edema. so that is in the general examination there is also loss of hair yes you can see there is loss of hair in both the limbs but more on the right side plus then you have to see for local temperature now coming to the local examination so in the local examination you have to see inspection you have to compare both the limbs when you are comparing that you see the uh, skin appears to be normal except there is loss of hair the loss of hair is more on this side and there is color change the color change is in the dorsum of the foot and also on the plantar aspect idhar aaiye photo you see there is an ulceration towards the heel area and on the plantar aspect of the foot also on both sides on this side also there is an ulcer so now once you start examining then you when you compare it with the normal limb it is completely normal on the left side except for the nails which are dirty but on this side there is an ulcer in the third toe at the base of the third toe and it is having slough and there is another ulcer at the medial end of the great toe and there are two other ulcers one on the uh, uh, heel area on the left side medial side and also on the lateral side so uh, this main area is all edematous and there is lot of color change pair chala ke dikhaiye nahi angutha angutha chalaiye angutha uh movements of the limb uh, of the toes uh, toes are normal except for the middle toe uh, which appears to be diseased and interdigital cleft of the third and fourth toe is also infected so there is infection in this area and now uh, this these two toes are at risk of getting amputated now once you have done that then you have to do palpation so a palpation should start from the knee joint and gradually you see the hair the hair loss is there in the right side local temperature up till this it is okay but below this the temperature is less on the affected side there is some inflammation so there is some local temperature rise here but otherwise the limb right limb appears to be colder than the left limb now uh, this ulcer you have to define the ulcer the size the shape and everything and the presence of slough at the base so this is an infected ulcer now with this examination and uh, the history uh, one thing is clear that you have to see the distal pulses so now the most important pulse is the dorsalis pedis which is examined just lateral to the tendon of extensor extensor hallucis longus and you can try to feel the lip pulsation although it is feeble on this side also and of course here also it is feeble in fact it is not palpated on this side so the dorsalis pedis is absent and of course posterior tibial again on this side which is on the middle side again it is absent so dorsalis pedis is feeble on this side and posterior tibial is absent in both the limbs and of course we have to palpate the 
femoral and other pulses the popliteal are normal as you said and uh, uh, the femoral is normal and popliteal is feeble on this side so with this history and examination we have to make a clinical diagnosis now the history is that the patient is having pain during walking he is unable to put his limb down because of the ulceration and he is a non diabetic so it is a case likely to be a vascular disease and we call that disease as a peripheral vascular disease so there are various types of peripheral vascular disease in this age group the main is the senile atherosclerosis after that of course it can be say uh, various other uh, embolic dis disorders which cardiac ailment subacute bacterial endocarditis or anything which can one of the can lodge into the one of the distal vessels leading to gangrene and uh, we have to take check for the sensation also aap band kariye और हम जहाँ छुएंगे तो आपको गिनना है एक दो तीन छूने से छूने की छूने की पता चले ना तो आपको बताना है एक दो दो तीन ऐसे बोलते जब जब छूने का पता चले एक दो तीन चार पाँच छ सात आठ नौ दस ग्यारह बारह तेरह चौदह पंद्रह सोलह सत्रह अठारह सो देर इज नो सेंसेशन लॉस सो दैट मीन्स इट इज लेस लाइकली टू बी अ ट्रॉफिक अल्सर इन ट्रॉफिक अल्सर्स especially in syphilis or in traumatic uh, ulcers where there is uh, cord uh, injury there is paralysis and that also results in ulceration so because this type this ulcer which is there is appearing as a trophic ulcer so there is a combination of those uh, findings so that has to be confirmed on uh, this uh, digital examination which we have found that uh, sensation is not lost so with this uh, the summar to summarize this uh, elderly male having a uh, history of smoking and alcoholism came with uh, pain in the lower limb mainly on the right side inability to walk and on examination the upper limb pulses are normal uh, lower limb pulses uh, especially on the right side are absent especially dorsal pelvis and posterior tibia and there are multiple ulcers over the foot and some are infected so uh, and however the uh, sensations are normal so that means it is a case of mainly a vascular disorder which needs to be further evaluated so what further evaluation is to be done the main evaluation is to first of all take a culture from there and start an antibiotic according to the culture uh, you can start broad spectrum antibiotic you have to debride this ulcer and debride this toe also because they are joined together and clean it so that you can save this toe otherwise it will need to be amputated following that antibiotics and dressing has to be done on a regular basis and we have to find out what is the site of the blockage of the artery here it mainly appears to be in the distal to popliteal vessel so if that is the case then we need to do a color doctor and also an angiography of the upper limbs and the heart because in this age group there can be multiple sites of vascular removal so our target as a surgeon is mainly to treat this so for the treatment of this it will require three or four things first is debridement antibiotics regular dressing and to open the vessels if they are blocked and are accessible for treatment so for that we will do an angiography and doppler and after that the treatment will be decided regarding the distal vessel meanwhile active physiotherapy has to be advised which will improve his movements and he has to be prescribed proper shoes proper uh, covering of the limbs so that the ulcer does not propagate
थैंक यू समझ गए